Hello, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris. And I'm Susanna. We're in the trail. And this is Whatever Wednesday, where we talk about, well, whatever. Whatever we want. It is a little scary. Or whatever scuffy, you yeah. want. That's a good idea. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want to learn about travel or RV or, I don't know. Life in general. Yeah. Cooking tips, <laughs> RV maintenance, things like that. Leave us a message down below. But today, we're going to talk to you about KO8s. Hey, so we are in Wyoming and we're working our way from Casper. It's so hot. Is it so hot? It's so hot. Well, you got it in the thermos. Yeah. Uh, from Casper to Cheyenne. Wyoming. Wyoming. Just a case. Uh, it's pretty wide open. Anyway, so we want to talk to you about uh, KOAs. Because we've spent quite a few nights in the KOAs, especially in the past couple of weeks. Yeah. You know, we did seven days in just outside of Glacier. And then we just stayed in the first KOA uh, last Billings. night the night before. And then we stayed in one last night. And now we have another one for two nights coming up. With KOAs, um, they can be a little bit pricey. And so we did a membership when we first started full-time travel. And we used it a couple times like, man, I don't know, these are kind of expensive. And at the time that was, well, we found better deals. But since COVID, things have changed a little bit. When we picked up Tandy, we couldn't find a place in Spokane that was below like $70 a night. It was crazy. So we looked at the KOA, and like, wow, this is $40 a night. So we renewed the membership, and now we've been using the heck out of it. Uh, because KOAs, I mean, you know what you're going to get. You know it's a good quality. Um, and in the winter time, or, you know, fall, early spring, they're still open. You know, there's a lot that are still open 365 days a year, which is the challenge we were having coming down through Wyoming and Colorado is that um, we weren't going to be able to get full hookups or any hookups because the temperatures, a lot of they're shutting their water off. So, um, so there are how many KOAs? There's here? over 487 across the country. Yeah. And like I said, so you generally know what to expect. And so... When you talk about KOAs, there's three different levels of KOAs. So you have a journey. You have a journey. A holiday. A holiday and a resort. And a resort. And we, I mean, we didn't understand that. We're like, it's KOA, right? But it's not. And they're not all created equal. No, they're, they're like purpose built. Yes. So a journey is, you know, they're going to be located right off the highways and the byways. And they're going to be your overnighters. You're on your way to someplace else. They're not going to have... You know a bunch of amenities they'll probably you know they'll have restrooms and laundry and the basic amenities but they're really meant for just overnighting um, the next one is going to be the koa holidays so these guys are loaded but they're also um, not meant to stay there you're supposed to stay for a week or whatever but explore the area you're there for a reason they'll have the pools and like uh, so have cafes or restaurants or you know mini putt putt Yep, golfing, um, playgrounds, laundry, you know, they have uh, quite a few things, but they're not meant for you. I mean, you can, you can of course stay there and not explore, but they're meant for you as a base point to go out and explore. The kids get funky back there. All right, and then the next one is the resort, and the resorts, those are the ones where it's that in itself is kind of That's why you're going, you're going to that KOA to spend your vacation. They have um, staff-led activities, they have resort-style pools, they have restaurants and um, other things there that maybe not restaurants but bites to eat stuff that you can do there you can stay at these without a membership you don't have to have a membership um, but you get a discount if you have a membership you better keep it are you making fun of my hand talk because i'm a hand talker no. <laughs> okay anyway membership so for $33 a year, you get a 10% discount for your nightly rate at a KOA. So I think that's worth it, 33 bucks. And yeah, I mean, you if you're only gonna stay- four or five bucks off per night. Yeah, so theoretically, you gotta stay at a place that costs at least $30 a night and stay for 11 nights. So if you're only gonna camp one weekend out of the year, I don't know if a membership- Probably not worth yeah. it. But if you're, especially if you're full-time and you're going, trying to connect 
these destinations. There's KOAs literally everywhere. I mean, I don't know how many KOAs we have passed through going through Wyoming and Montana. A lot. A lot. <laughs> so um, plenty of places to stay. So with your rewards, every time that you stay, you build up points. And those points do a couple different things. The first one is they build up and so you can get to a different level. So you start off at one level. We're now, we're VIPs. We're very important people. Um, because we've used Kway so much, so right. when we stay at a Kway now, we actually get increased rewards because we've been so loyal. But you can also use those points to book free nights. So after you get to a certain amount, depending on where you're trying to stay, it'll say, okay, this this number of points equates to this much dollars, and you can use that to pay for your night. Yep. So, which is cool. cool. We like Kways. Yeah. Um, I They're, think. A good quality and they're pretty standard you know all their little um, lodges look the same all their oh, yeah, cabins. you know everything is and they're very recognizable with their big yellow signs you know um, you expect you go in there you expect a certain standard and you get that so what we just said about cabins um, KOAs are not just for RVs they have tent spots they've got cabins and then some of them you have different levels of cabins so you can get like the rustic log cabin that is the standard shape at all KOAs. Where you gotta go to the bathroom. Or you can get a cabin that has a bathroom in it. Yeah, you can or get Or you can get a fancy deluxe. deluxe cabin. One bedroom, two bedroom cabin. They look like tiny homes. Yeah, they do. They, some of them are two story. So. Yeah, and, and like she was saying, they all have kind of a standard. So you may not know this, but like some RV parks, they'll just say, hey, our bathroom's broken. You're like, okay, well, what do I do? Well, you have to be self contained. KOAs. They have like regulations, so if you don't have enough restrooms available for the park, they gotta shut it down until they get it fixed. Um, you know, things like that. So they have these standards they have to follow. Last night, that lady was not allowed. She's like, I can't let you go park. You have to wait for the person. I said, it's right over there. And she said, I know, but we have to wait for a, a person. That's okay. An escort. An escort. <laughs> you know, and that's just part of the, the process, getting through and they make sure you get set up. There are a few things that we don't really dig. Uh, the number one thing for me is you get two adults for free, right? And then after that, you have to pay for additional people. It doesn't not, matter if they're kids or not, you have to pay for your kids. Yeah, so it, I think it's five and under generally is free. But these are supposed to be like family or camping is about family and getting out. I personally believe that KOA should allow two adults and two children for free. Yeah. As long as they're the same family, right? Um, you know, extra adults, I get it, but two adults and two children. So some places you end up paying like three, four, five, six, seven dollars per child per night. Yeah. So it adds up. And then we actually just ended up paying, we stayed at, at the, um, the KOA in Billings. And so you have the price and you have to pay it, but included in that is the, it's almost like a resort fee. Some yeah, they have an activities fee. and amenities fee. Um, and some of the resorts do too. If you stay at a resort um, or the holidays, they may have an extra fee to use their um, facilities, you know, help maintain the pools and, you know, tennis courts and whatnot. So, yeah. and I know, I know pretty much across the country, you know, RV parks and a lot of places make you do that. Um, now, we usually book online, so we end up just paying it. Uh, I don't know if you walk in and they say, okay, well, here's the pricing. Well, I don't, I don't want to play mini putt putt and I'm not going to use the pool. So I don't want to do the reserve fee. Hey, that's a triceratops. Um, <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> who knew? So I don't, I don't know about that, but that's my, my gripe is the, the price of having to pay for your children. You can book online. You can use their app. Or you can call. Yes, there's a lot of it's so very to easy to book. Just make sure when you call that and you, you know have instantly. Your you know, you, when you book out, you know instantly. Oh, they you have a, a selection of sites if they have them available. You have a selection of sites to choose from. You know whether you want fancy, not so fancy, um, super fancy. You know because some of them we'll talk about it in our um, when we went to Glacier. Yeah. There's different types of sites that you can get with a patio, not a patio, a little um, gazebo, you know, all this Super stuff. Super landscape. Yeah. The KOAs are great. We're not affiliated. So, I mean, we'll put a link down below. 
Uh, we're not affiliated, so it's, we're not going to get any money for you hitting the link or anything. But just go check them out if you're looking for a solution uh, and a good quality place to stay. I mean, I don't think you can really beat it as far as knowing the quality that you're going to get across the United States. Okay, so that's, I think, kind of about everything you need to know about KOAs. So uh, if this video helped you, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Hit the uh, notification bell so you know when the next video is coming. And make sure you subscribe because you don't get to do the notification bell if you don't subscribe. This isn't a button that the kids do in the back. That's not <laughs> legit, so you can't hit that button. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. And remember, life's an adventure. Have fun. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.